Hey, what is going on you guys? My name is Rage and we are back today with a massive gold orbs opening video for you all. Um, and I'm sure you guys have seen it before now, but the event schedule that was released previously on the Marvel Strike Force blog post last Friday. Uh, here, let me put it on the screen for you guys. Um, four main milestones coming up, right? We know Abominable Beast is upcoming um, to get him uh, ready for the Death Sea team. We got the Herald of Death which sounds like actually potentially um, the Death Scourge, uh, just based on the naming convention of it, right? Uh, it's a milestone that could be tied potentially with that last Death Scourge. We got the Progeny of Apocalypse, uh, which actually um, refers to the Son of Apocalypse, right? So in uh, my opinion, when I'm hearing this name, it does sound like it's referring to Nemesis. And then we have the Gift Wrap Gala, um, just to wrap things up here. So uh, the Herald of Death and as well as Progeny of Apocalypse really does indicate that in the next week or two, we may potentially see that um, last scourge come about or prepare uh, towards the end of the month here. That means, guys, we got to get our gold ready. Uh, I still haven't really trained up any of the minions. Um, I do have uh, some of the death scourge members up, uh, such as Magneto and Psylocke, but I highly urge you guys to save your gold. Um, haven't done a video like this in a while, but what I've done is I've saved up a lot of gold here and, um, you know, always good for entertainment just for you guys to see to statistically how we're going to do today opening all 222 orbs here that I have amassed. Last time I did this was in September. So, um, you know, in the last, uh, pretty much the last two, two and a half months, uh, I've amassed about this many orbs. So that's just with me playing the game, um, finishing the second round of Dark Dimension 5. That took forever just because I was being lazy about it. And then just honestly claiming all the free rewards that they have um, through the web store. So 222 orbs, we got 145, 146 million gold. How much are we going to get today? Uh, let's uh, let's check that out, guys. So let's start things off. I'm definitely going to do a summary at the end, too, just to get a sense of, you know, how much per orb. But um, it's always good to prepare, guys. And uh, I highly urge you right now to save gold because we're not really sure um, how the nodes are going to look with the characters, uh, especially us requiring uh, some minions and as well as those non-legendary mutants, right? But generally, for opening 10 orbs, we typically get about... 1.7 to 2.2 2.3 million um unless you get a gold orb if you get a gold orb on any of the sides there um it's gonna be really good it's guaranteed a minimum of at least 1 million so right there great example um you can see how much the average goes up with just one of those orbs right now we're getting uh, 3 million right there so I, I think yeah i think the, the most gold i've ever had in my account is about um i think 170 to 180 million so uh, this could be a good day that we're going to test that high on my account. So getting all purples and another 2 million right there. Not bad. What I want is more of the golds because that's really what's going to add up to my average here. And then we're going to see a really nice extra boost to our account, right? But otherwise, yeah, this is not looking like a good run. But typically I've seen some really good ones. There's one time I got like um, 2 or 3 million one of the drops. There we go. Another 1 million. That's awesome. Back to 165 here. Oh, another 1 million. Boom. 2.7 okay yeah let's keep it going uh, but yeah um it's always kind of dependent guys like i know the rng sometimes like it does smooth out eventually but uh this is a pretty good average that i've seen from all the videos i have made and documented and um get a pretty good sense anyways in terms of when you're opening this much 2.3 million oh that's pretty good too all purples there do another one here come on one more purple uh, excuse me one more go for us guys one more one more go for the video there we go Beautiful. Oh, wow. See, that's what I'm talking about. The 3 million to the left right there. Boom. You get the 4.8 million total. And that really, as you can see, pushes up the average. Holy smokes. Yeah. Those are really the mythical ones Um, that I've, yeah, I, I think I've only gotten one or two in, in the duration of all the orb videos I've made. Um, so there we go. Uh, I got another 52 here. But yeah, this is looking like a really good run, guys. Especially with that big one that increased it. And then hopefully maybe we can get one more, but you never know. Purples. Sometimes the game maybe recognizes that uh, this player already got this much. We got to slow him down. Okay, got another 1 million, 2.8 right there. Got another 22 to go here. So, yeah. Can we finish strong here? Let's see here. 12 more to go. That's only one more. Oh, yes, sir. 2 million drop right there. Boom. Once again. Oh, man. My alliance is going to give me some heat later because they usually see me pulling this and then they'll they'll follow up because they'll see that... Uh, They'll see that I was getting some pretty decent luck here. So, boom, there you guys go. 196 million from, I think I was, I think I started off at around 146. So, there you go. Boom, wow. 222 orbs, guys. Um, 50 million in gold, just like that. 
Um, and this is exactly what I'm going to use to prepare for the upcoming events, um, including, you know, the, the War Saga, which is coming as they've confirmed. I think we're just waiting for news and speculation now at this point. But that's huge, guys. Um, I highly urge you to just save up the gold orbs right now and try not to use any. Right now, my average is um, typically I'm spending about... I, I stop at that 2.7, I think Milestone 11. Yeah, Milestone 11 right now is where I'm kind of stopping in terms of the rewards because I find it gives you a good set amount and I'm also I'm always going for this T1 irons. But if you want to save more gold right now, the recommended conservative mode is actually Milestone 7 because this is the last one that actually gives you power cores. Um, especially if you want to maximize the, the amount of gold you want to save before these events come out because we don't know which characters we're going to maximize on. And once they have these, uh, the, the new, the last and final scourge released, we can really start getting into the nitty gritty of which uh, minions to maximize on and, and character synergies, right? So that's kind of what the game plan here, guys, because there's so much going on, especially with these new scourges coming and characters and team synergies. Um, sometimes the best approach is a wait and see. Um, that way, your investment, your investment into characters may not be wasted, right? But um, that's why I'm preparing here, guys. Hope you enjoyed this quick and brief video on my gold orbs. I know it's always fun to watch, but um, I urge you guys to, to save up right now because we just don't know what to expect, um, especially with this last and final uh, Death Scourge that's upcoming here. And I think it's going to be pretty soon, guys, based on what we're seeing with the milestone events. But you just never know. Maybe it could be next month, but the naming is really telling of what's cut to come for sure. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know how your gold balance is doing. Are you guys saving as well? Thank you as always, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.